Are you unsure about whether or not now is a good time to buy a new house? Home prices are finally beginning to rebound. On your site, consumer reporter John Matarese investigates whether this could be the best time in years to make a move or if you could still lose money. Dreaming of a new house? Well, homes are on sale right now, with home prices down 20, 30, even 50 percent from their peak in some areas. But with the economy still shaky, is now the time to buy? Or should you stay on the sidelines for another year? To buy or not to buy? That's the dilemma facing Aaron Shaw, who worries that the housing downturn may not be done. I'm just wasn't sure, you know, with the economy and with what's going on, um, is it best to stay renting? Is it better to buy? Um, you know, is now a good time to buy? Her worst fear? She buys and her home drops in value. I've, I've seen that happen through, you know, either uh, friends or friends' parents where the house has gone down. So should you buy now or wait? Well, no one can predict what will happen. Let me know if you have any questions. But realtor Tess Filimanov suggests potential buyers get a feel for today's prices by touring yeah, open right. houses with no pressure. Having the open house allows them to just make appointments on their own, come through, see if it's something they want to do. She says you may find some incredible deals. I'm seeing sellers get more realistic about the market that they've been in in the past year. And so we're seeing very good values on the market. The New York Times says home prices have dropped so much in some areas that buying can now be cheaper than renting. The Times, as well as many banks, now offers online calculators for those on the bubble. Mortgage lender Ed Hensley says don't forget the other benefits of buying. Besides the affordability feature, there are certain tax benefits to owning a home, the sense of pride of belonging to your community, and you don't have to rely upon a landlord to maintain the property. And prices are already rebounding in more than half the country, according to the National Board of Realtors. That has Erin Shaw thinking this just might be the time for her to make her move. It's a tough decision. <laughs> Of course, the recent price jump in many areas could just be a temporary blip due to this spring's $8,000 housing credit that's now expired. But it could also mean the three-year housing meltdown is finally coming to an end. And if that's the case, it may be time to start testing the water. You don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.